Hey guys, Randy here at eTrailer.com. Today we've got a 2019 Jeep Cherokee in, and we're taking a look at the different wiper blades we have available and test fitting them for you. This is the Michelin 14 inch rear, rear wiper blade. It's a frame style, which means you can see we've got our pressure points here on each end. We've got our rubberized blade, of course, and then right in there you'll see that stainless steel strip. That's what helps to give it its spring action, so it'll stick down to the windshield. The frame portion's all a polymer material, so really corrosion isn't anything we'll have to have an issue. Not like the old steel frame wipers that we used to deal with. The blade itself has a graphite coating on it, so like you often see the skipping on blades that get worn out. Really not going to have to worry about that with this blade. Now the replacement process on the Cherokee is pretty straightforward. We've got our original blade here. What we want to do is come to the pivot point here at the back. We want to lift out each side of that cap. It's a little flexible. That allows us to pull that up. At that point, we'll lift up our wiper arm. Now we're going to tilt from the center section closest to the middle of the car out. And you'll feel right there there's a little catch. You don't think it can go any further, but you'll just continue to rotate. That actually will allow you to slide that out of the way. And we'll bring in our new blade. And with the blade, you're going to have four different adapters. That's to help it work with all the different types. In our case, we need to use cap A. We're going to take the rounded portion of cap A. That should fit down in that slot. And then right here, you can see that little tab. So we'll push that tab in, rotate it down like that, and then just push till we hear it click. At that point, you'll see it's a little bit narrower of a gap here than here. That narrower gap is going to face towards us or towards the outside of the vehicle. Slide that down and on, and we'll just rotate it. It comes to that same stop. Click it on around. At that point, it's on, ready for use. Now, this is going to provide a really good solution for those situations where these blades are a little bit harder to find. Maybe you have to go to the dealer to get them. Those can be quite expensive. As far as the performance of it, I'm going to go up, run the windshield washer there, and see how it works. Yeah, looks like it does a really good job. No streaks or anything like that to speak of. So all in all, it could be a really good solution for getting a rear wiper replacement.